elastic fibers are produced when the protein elastin is assembled onto a scaffolding made by the protein fibrillin. The elastin proteins are highly hydrophobic, especially after being cross-linked to each other. These elastic fibers can stretch and therefore provide elasticity in a number of tissues which need to stretch, such as lung tissue, the connective tissue of the bladder, the skin, and in certain areas they form elastic connective tissue because of the high abundance of these elastic fibers. This elastic connective tissue can be found in ligaments connecting neighboring vertebrae and be present in the large arteries which are actually called elastic arteries. When the left ventricle pumps blood these elastic arteries stretch not only accommodating the increased volume but as they recoil to their original position this helps to provide force which propels the blood onward. Mutations in the elastin gene cause aortic stenosis and problems with arterial walls. And in emphysema, the inflammation of the lung tissue can result in antibodies being produced against elastic fibers. And thus in emphysema, the loss of elastic fibers is a component of the degradation of the air sacs which is observed in emphysema.